So I did try and make a video yesterday of how to record a boundary. Uh, and then I forgot, I actually thought it was recording, but it wasn't. So here we go again. So we are, this is our first application on this field of winter wheat. It's summer March, start of March, 2021. Uh, direct drill wheat. We don't put in any tram lines anywhere. Uh, that's just how we do it. We uh, like to have crop growing in the tram lines and it's better for the soil and different reasons. So anyway, this is our first time. We've had all these fields mapped out before on the GPS, but it wasn't with RTK. We're only after getting the RTK, so it wouldn't really be accurate enough for uh, you know plotting the, the headland tram line off and whatnot. So. We've got the big wide flotation tires on, like cows and fifties or whatever, and the ground is dry, so we're, it's no harm. It's doing no harm to the crop. I'll just spin around these fields, uh, driving it right at the edge with a 1.5 meter offset to the right, and that'll give me kind of a very accurate line for the boundary. Uh, we have Dorothy K on the receiver on, so it, like that's going to be permanent now. This boundary, we'll be able to use it, you know, for all other operations after this. Uh, so you see there we're drawing it out. Uh, I might show you in a minute how you start it. It's very easy. See I have a shortcut key down there on the bottom on the bottom shortcut page for one of them is boundary with a plus sign that just means create a boundary so you know whatever fields are in just press that button and uh, if there is already a boundary it'll give you an option to to uh, to kind of copy over it and the last do you want to drive the boundary or do you want to create the boundary from a coverage map so in this instance we're, we're driving the boundary so here we are we got to go over there so we're nearly back to the start now uh, we'll pick you up again now when we get back to, to show you how to finish it off all right so we're almost back at the start now uh, we don't actually need to fully drive to the corner it'll, it'll draw it out itself so we just hit save now uh, and then what we want to do now is to go to guidance uh, set track we want to create a new track uh, boundary track boundary fill uh, it's okay we want to change the name of this now to headland Headland tram line, and that saves specifically to this field. So when we come back again, we can just pick that up. It'll be one of our. So we'll have only two options. Kind of every time we come back to spray or fertilize, it'll just be headland tram line or you know the 30 meter tram line up and down for for driving. So save that. Uh, and there we are. It's giving you two options there now, either left and right of the boundary. We'll obviously go with the one inside it. So now, here we are. We're going along the uh, auto steer on our headland tram line based off the boundary we just recorded. Uh, you can see it's just filling it, colouring in right up to the, to the boundary we're just after drawn, which makes sense. It'll handle kind of gentle curves once you don't go too fast, but in the in the real sort of corners, you kind of have to take over and, and steer it manually, just kind of from from one side of the corner to the next. You watch this now. This is kind of a this is kind of a gentle corner. Once we slow down a little bit, she'll take it around herself. <laughs> Not going too far out from from being right. And, uh, there's a slight little curve there in the, on the in the hedge, and it's just taking itself around it there, fairly nicely. Probably if we were going a little bit slower and we didn't have so much weight in the back with the full fertilizer spreader, it would steer probably even more rapidly. But speed and and uh, kind of when there's more weight on the back than the front, it kind of affects how accurately it can steer. But you know, it would in like if it's. 10 centimeters or anything like that, it's on, on a curve like that, that that's, that's fairly close. It's definitely a lot closer than you get at Marnie anyway. Yeah, this is our 
first straight tram line down the middle of the field coming off the gate. Uh, well, I actually did when I was over the far side off the straight ditch where the tram lines are marked out. I just swapped over from the headland tram line into this tram line to make sure that they were, you know, in line. They weren't too far away. That was going to leave us a wide tram line over the far side. So that's just something else you have to do, kind of, with the first time when you're setting things up uh, with the RPK, is just to make sure that you don't leave yourself too wide over the far side where you want your first kind of big main tram line to be. And because I did that, I could just start back over this side instead of having to drive over to, to the straight long side to start, which is kind of handy. You see here that the section control is kind of working. Uh, you see we're only spreading kind of three out of eight sections to the left hand side. Um, yeah. We're in the next field here now, we're off doing the same thing, plotting out a boundary, driving the headland tram line. And we've just stopped here now for a sec, because this is our straight ditch. And you can see there, I was on, I'm on the headland tram line, but I flicked into the, say the, the field, the, the up and down tram line. And you'll just see there, we're 24 centimeters to the left, is where the tram line actually is. So that means if we don't do any adjustments and we start spreading up and down, when we get over to here, this tram line here is going to be at least 24 centimeters too wide, so we don't want that. So we need to center that up to where we are, and I'll probably just I'll move it another bit. So that's a half, 24 centimeters. I might give it another, so it'll be a half a meter total, near enough, just to just to be sure because we can live with a tiny bit narrow, but tiny bit wide is a pain in the arse. So that should be us good to go now. So we can flick back to the headland tram line. And here auto steer on. Let's start on the shredder and we're going again. One second too high, nine. Uh wrong gear. So we might just check that again when we go up to the top of the field. We'll just stop for one second to check. We'll put into it, we'll, we'll swap our track onto the up and down track and that'll just let us or that'll confirm that we're, we're not too wide.